it to my dreams and my old team ran too far. Post it up with the game. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Angelo's world. Welcome or welcome back to my world. Today we're gonna be reacting to new school rappers disrespecting old school rap, old school hip hop. Let's see who and how they disrespected old school hip hop. If you enjoy this video, smash that like button. Well, let's get straight to the video, man. I hope you still remember the rapper by the name of Lil Xan. In an interview, he once called Tupac's work. I hope you still remember the rapper by the name of Lil Xan. In an interview, he once called Tupac's work boring and rated the legend's music two out of ten. Two. Nigga, Lil Xan. First of all, I'm not gonna say who listens to your music because I know there's people out there. But you calling Tupac, and I know it's early in the video, but you calling Tupac's, you giving Tupac's music a ten out of a two out of ten, nigga, you will never be on the same level as Pop. Let's keep it as you will never have the same lyricism. You will never have the same impact. None of that shit. The fuck you. <laughs> Let me calm down, bro. It's his opinion. Let me calm down. Let's get back to the video, bro. Let's see what else he had to say. Let's see. The born music. This, of course, caused a heated reaction on the internet, and rapper Waka Flocka Flame even said that now he's an outcast for the hip-hop community. His mute. See, that's where you got fucked up. That's where you got it fucked up. You said it's born. So Tupac's music is born. How is it born? Just because you don't like it? Nigga, what? <laughs> After all this, the rapper realizes how deep in shit he was and performed Shakur's popular song, California oh, Love, at his concert. Hell but no. something like that could not redeem him. One time in downtown Los Angeles, there was almost a shootout involving the rapper. He and his girlfriend, Annie Smith, stopped at a gas station. One of the visitors recognized the freshman and asked him a question about Tupac. Lil Xan didn't answer. Hey, homie, you a bitch. Yeah, you a bitch. Yeah, that's why, yeah, yeah. Later on his official Instagram account, he admitted that he took out the gun for his own protection. <laughs> the media is gonna try and twist what just happened at a gas station. I was about to be attacked and resorted to having to use self-defense. Fuck all you old head ass bitch still talking about that Tupac shit. Live your own life and stop picking on a kid. And this is what he had to say in an interview a week later. Nothing wrong against Tupac. I never dissed him because they edited the clip to like make it look like I hate all old school hip hop. It's up to you to decide whether to believe his words or not. Y'all believe that or not? Y'all believe what he said? I don't know. He said because it, it, how did X disrespect old school hip hop? But anyway, do y'all believe that it was edited and he really didn't say it like that? And y'all let me know. But how did X disrespect old school hip hop? Hold on. XXX Tentacion in an interview with DJ Academics spoke about Tupac. Man, bro, I'm better than Tupac, bro. Please don't compare me to him. Please don't compare me to him. Uh, now, X, bro, we love you, my guy. But you being better than Tupac, my nigga. <laughs> being better than Tupac X? Now X. And, okay. I don't know. Cause, Cause Tupac, I can get why he say that because he can rap like, cause he, he'll spit like some, some spirits, I guess you could say some spirit or some real shit. But I don't, you being better than Tupac, bro, I don't, uh, I don't know. Please don't. 
Tupac can't make rap music. I mean, rock music. Tupac was a dancer and a poet and a rapper. But he was a revolutionary, too, and a leader of men. Fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't. I don't give a fuck. He can't what? make rock music? Yeah, but it's... Yeah. Okay. I'm 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 gonna let y'all have that one. Y'all let me know what <laughs> y'all let I'm cause I know I got a lot of I know damn near anybody who watches my videos is an X fan, man. But X, bro. Oh, y'all let me know if X was tripping or not. I I I uh, uh. Sees that Pac was able to articulate himself slightly more clearly than Biggie was in his music, but at the end of the day, he believes that the late Mr. Wallace was the better poet. To prove his point, XXX quotes part of the first verse from B.I.G.'s classic cut, Suicidal Thoughts, a dark, raw piece of writing that was off his first studio album, Ready to Die. I've been considered as the worst, lying to my mother, even stealing out a purse, from crime after crime, from death to extortion, bruh. That shit is real, bruh! Many didn't take too kindly to his words, saying things like, X does this, X says that, X takes a shit at McDonald's, fucking give it up already, no one gives a- So just, okay, so just because he wasn't, he didn't make, I feel like, see, this is where we gotta like, because Tupac could have done that. I feel like he could have done it if he wanted to, he didn't want to. Because at the end of the day, just like with YouTube videos, right? You you choose you uh you pick what you want to do with your with your niche or whatever you want to. You feel me? You ultimately have that choice of what you want to do with your YouTube channel, right? So just like Pop and Biggie, they had the choice of what they wanted to write about. Pop made California Love. Pop made songs for the women. Um, what's that? Y'all know what song I'm talking about. The um, y'all know what song I'm talking about. But I feel like if he wanted to, he could have. You feel me? fuck about this weak ass woman beater or his big ass opinions i respect that music changes with time but what this kid doesn't seem to understand is that tupac was speaking to a whole nother generation and a whole nother time no rapper now they can compare themselves unless they were around in 1996 and were around for the things that were happening in the world rappers nowadays make statements like this not just 1996 tupac came out with his first with his first album in 91 which had song which had the song brenda had a baby name a rapper back then storytelling well okay i'm not gonna put it but brenda had a baby or brenda has a baby was a deep ass song real deep motherfuckers the people he was signed to didn't even want that song to be out <laughs> you feel me Just to get attention, XXX is the most retarded rapper today. Lil Yachty is not a fan of old school hip hop and he has no problem saying it. His antics have caused quite a stir amongst the hip hop community as Yachty's dismissive behavior towards rap veterans is not something traditionally seen within the game. He thinks Biggie is overrated. How? I can't say the same for him. Right. He also openly admitted that he is not familiar with either Tupac or Biggie's catalog, and that he honestly can't name five songs from either of them. What you say? What you say? Drake is better than Tupac and Biggie. They ain't got shit on Drake. Lil Yachty. Lil Yachty. Drake is better than Biggie and Tupac. Nigga, you're smoking crack. You are smoking crack. Tupac and Biggie are better than Drake combined, let alone alone. Drake, it, nigga, Drake grew up listening to Tupac and Biggie. Just because you didn't grow up listening to him don't mean your favorite rappers didn't. 
Drake grew up listening to Biggie and Tupac. I know he did. He was born in 86 before Tupac even went viral. When Tupac was in mother went in fucking college or whatever the fuck that shit did, the school of arts. He was born in 86. Tupac went in what was that, 87? fuck is you talking about Drake is better than Biggie and Tupac? Boy. They don't have shit on Drake. They don't have shit on Drake. What can they do that Drake can do? Drake rapping, singing, caressing all that. Can Tupac or Biggie make some shit like this? Yachty's argument was that he was doing other things and knowing the history of hip hop was not a priority for him. But if I do it my way and earn so much that's cool but you saying that drake is better than biggie and tupac you are smoking crack my guy money yachty thought why should i do it the way everyone says it should be done i don't think it's cool because when i did it it was, it was honesty an honest mistake. What was the way to make a move and I be loaded? Why you watch a drink of water and I just told it? Still that same nigga. Out of the entire list, Kodak spoke most disrespectfully about Tupac and Biggie. Although at first it was more or less decent. I'm the hardest young nigga. I'm the hardest rapper in the game, I promise. Like, when you talk about me, you should, like, you should put me in a category of like Paul, Big, Nas, them niggas. Like, you feel me? Like, really listen to my shit. I don't care about how I act, like, on the ground. Like, you feel? But then... People trying to say, oh, I can't put myself in a category with Tupac, them. Actually, I'm better than them niggas. You know why? Because I'm, like, I live what I rap about. Them niggas was just, like, them niggas was just legends, like, because they died. I'm really, like... No, you a dumbass. Talking about they was just legends because they died. Do we got to go back to 1995? <laughs> we got to go back to 1991. When Tupac dropped his debut album. Nigga. When Biggie dropped his debut album. What the fuck are you talking about? Both of their albums. Three years apart. Were bigger. Was Nigga, Juicy was on Biggie's debut album. Which was one which is still one of the biggest songs, hip hop song. Like everybody knows that song. Literally. Tell me I'm lying. Tell me if you don't know Juicy by, by Biggie Smalls. I'm like, Kodak, shut the fuck up, nigga. Hey, I, I, I live whatever. He also dissed Lil Wayne once, and to be fair, it was pretty cold. <laughs> you were late. You were late. You fucking mad. You should have died when you was a baby. Lil Wayne left no comment, but his daughter clearly said that his new album sounds like her father's old shit. Good shit and I flew straight out to London. Whoa. A AR-15, that bitch came with a drum kit. She, she wanna f*** yeah. till I die. Till I die. Till I die. On the east side, till I die. In 2012, MGK called Eminem's daughter hot on Twitter, then in the song No Reason referred to Marshall's song Rap God. Beginning to feel like a rap god, rap god. All my people from the front to the back. So remind y'all, you just rap, you not god. And I don't care who got bars. Later, he said that he was banned from Eminem's radio. <laughs> I'm my favorite rapper alive. Says my favorite rapper banned me from Shade 45. Eminem dissed MGK in Not Alike, where he handed it to him and remembered the tweet he made about Haley. Already know who the fuck you are, Kelly. I don't use the blend. And sure as fuck don't sneak this. But keep commenting on my daughter, Haley. Everyone was in complete shock that MGK had the courage to diss the hip-hop legend. I think my dad's gone crazy. Yeah, Haley, you right. Dad's always mad, cooped up in the studio, yelling at the mic. 
Apart from this, he also said that Eminem's last four albums were shit, told how Marshall didn't want to hear him on his radio, and if he wanted to, he could have sex with Eminem's ex-wife Kim. And then Eminem releases Kill Shot. Marshall calls him a stan, says that at the age of 45, he's beating the young rapper in sales, and remembers old beefs. Putting your name next to Chan, next to Pin, Zeno, Chan, motherfucker, like the last motherfucker saying Haley in vain. In an interview, Eminem said that he was furious about the rumors that MGK bragged about being the GOAT since he was banned from Shade 45. I'm the greatest rapper alive since my favorite rapper banned me from Shade 45 or whatever he said, right? Like I'm trying to hinder his career, so I give a fuck about your career. Lil Pump also had a confrontation with M after Marshall made fun of mumble rap and that Lil Pump and Lil Xan were stealing Lil Wayne's style. Pump Lil Xan, imitate Lil Wayne, I should aim at everybody in the game, pick a name. I'm sure you heard rumblings, I heard you wanna rumble, like an empty stomach, I heard you mumbling, but it's jumbled and mumbled. A lot of time passed and it seemed like everything was forgotten, but oh no. Hey, fuck Eminem, you as lame as hell, ain't nobody listening to your old ass, you lame as fuck, bitch. After so nigga and the only person in the we still ain't nigga only music we listen motherfuckers listening to by you is Gucci Gang. So shut the fuck up. That's the only song motherfuckers listening to by you, nigga. <laughs> like shut the words. nobody listening to your weak ass. Motherfuckers still listening to Eminem. Of course, everyone was on Eminem's side, because to say that no one listens to him is at the very least stupid, especially if you compare the streams of both rappers. Marshall responded in an original manner, and on Twitter quoted his own lines from the song Book of Rhymes. You need to get off the internet, internet. You need to get you alive. At the beginning of 2021, Lil Pump was kind of shook when asked about Eminem. Understood. The, the, the Eminem, Lil Pump, like, what was that about? Ooh. Eminem! I can't remember that. You don't even remember that shit, huh, Pump? Yeah, you pumped out. Yeah, this guy. I even told you. I was like, my fault. I was asleep. I'm so sorry about that. And by the way, I need to find out what Lil Xan thought about Eminem mentioning him. Like, like MGK, you know, they went crazy with the diss, but mm. I, I was like, thank you, Eminem, like, for acknowledging me, like, shit. Amazing. Initially, Gucci Mane and Youngboy were on good terms. However, after Gucci Mane collabed with Lil Durk, gave him so much time and he's got weak and he was woozy. Watch the shit you say, the fist be listening to the news. Youngboy releases the notorious I Hate Youngboy. A few weeks later, Gucci Mane releases publicity stunt. Tryna pull a publicity stunt. These rappers be pussy, they bleed once a month. Don't speak on my name, don't get put in the blunt. You can diss all you want, still won't get a response. This is a straight diss at Youngboy where Gucci calls his diss track a PR move. He does not understand his decision to turn away from him and asks him a question. Are you my enemy or a fan? And at the end, he refers to make no sense. I thought you felt like Gucci man in 2006. As in the case of Youngboy and Gucci Mane, 6 9 and 50 Cent were on good terms. However, after Takashi was arrested and began to snitch, 50 Cent decided to put an end to their friendship. I, I, don't, I wouldn't fuck with him, man. Right. It's still just, you know, what it is is just against the way I grew up. Takashi didn't take too long to reply and wrote the following under a news post about it. Won't be the first time 50 abandons his son, let me just mind my business. For those of you who did not understand what the rainbow-headed rapper was talking about, let me explain. Takashi trolled 50 by the fact that he is beefing with his eldest son, whose name is Marquise Jackson. After a big fight with the mother of his firstborn, Curtis said that he renounces Marquise. In addition, the father and son quite often take shots at each other on social media. And why did 6 9 mentioned the son of the legendary rapper. You see your son yet? Da -da 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 -da. Nah, I ain't heard from 6 9 We're connecting with people. He's his mother's child now. He told on everybody. <laughs> he better than Marquise, though. I take him before I take my actual father. <laughs>
I recommend you check out the next video about the beef between Kendrick Lamar and Drake. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Fake! 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 Ross! Chill! Why do people say that? Let me know if you guys want that video about... Um... Kendrick Lamar and Drake. <laughs> But these rappers disrespecting old school rap, bro. First of all, Lil, Lil Zane saying that Tupac is trash. Uh, uh, Lil fucking. Who was that? Lil Yachty? Not Lil. Was it Lil? Saying that Drake, or was it? Was it any whoever the fuck? I don't even care because it don't fucking matter because Biggie talking about Drake is better than Biggie and Tupac. Drake wouldn't last in the 90s. He can rap, don't get me wrong, but saying he's better than Biggie and Tupac is overboard, bro. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Everything motherfucker said was straight bullshit in my eyes. But y'all let me know what y'all think. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. Comment down below what other videos you guys like to see. And smash that subscribe button and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos. And while you're at it, Go check out my very last video, my reaction to uh, Michael Jackson's interview with Oprah. It's going to be right here. So go check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.